madame. These gentlemen and I have come to an agreement. That is good news. We will resolve our differences when the time comes. The matter is settled. You can count on it, Laclou. But now it is clear that we are fighting the same adversary. Adversary? You are rather indulgent, Monsieur le Marquis. It seems that you are still fond of him, despite his heinous crimes. Oh, de grâce. Truly, the king is no more than a wild beast. And together, in large numbers, we will hunt him down. Madame, please give the model and the engineering notes to Monsieur de Robespierre. However, you shall hold on to the patents. No one knows what the future may hold. Let there be peace between you gentlemen, for there is still much work to be done. We believe we now have a way to destroy the lanterns. Without them, the machines will no longer be able to carry out their sinister task. But it is still just a strategy, which needs to be tested. And even a conclusive experiment will not guarantee our success. Where will we find a working cannon? How will we get more vitriol? How will we make more cannonballs? Please, I ask each of you to set to work without delay. Pour la nation, monsieur. Pour la nation. Pour la nation. Pour la nation. You were right. He is hiding in the quarries of Montmartre. Did he show you the way to the Bastille? No. But he told me about the tunnels that will take me to the Temple. From there, I can fight my way to the Bastille. The man is trustworthy, as long as he does not count you among his enemies. You should leave us and take up his advice immediately. Were you present when- Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. We laid bare before the king the abject misery of his subjects. So he had the people's representatives dispersed by means of bayonets. At least we only had to contend with soldiers made of flesh and blood, positively angelic compared to the machines that have swept through Paris. Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. I spoke with Monsieur Marat and Monsieur Laclau. Ah, the scoundrels. Did you force them to confess? Do you know what they did with the children? They admitted to organizing the ambush at Gros Caillou. Cursed recreants. Cowardly corruptors of innocence. Where are they holding their prisoners? They must be rescued immediately. They do not have Charlotte and the Dauphin. Excuse me? They dare to claim that? It is the truth. The ambush was a catastrophe of your plans. Automats from Versailles slaughtered the kidnappers and seized. There is little doubt about that. Mon Dieu. Then it is from the clutches of that tyrant, in his own palace, that they must be saved. I fear that such an undertaking is doomed to failure, although there is no question of giving up. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis.
Not even the commanding officer was spared. Lafayette didn't hand over his army to the king. I should keep looking around Place Dauphine. He died in the attack. A headquarters at the Pont au Change. By all appearances, it's not official. Most likely an underground hiding place that can be entered from the riverbank. I'll try to track down Capitaine Lefebvre. If he and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis des Noirs, he must have gone towards the Châtelet. It would have been a desperate move for certain. I doubt any of them survived the retreat. What does that mean? <laughs> 